So let's bring you an update on the political atmosphere in Edo State. As the governor of the state, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, has commissioned a judicial panel of inquiry into the construction of the new wing of the Edo Specialist Hospital and the supply of medical equipment to the facility. And Mr. Obaseki, while inaugurating the committee led by retired Justice James Oyomire at the government house in Benin City, the state capital, said his administration has property and accountability as its hallmark. It maintained that government has been silent on the issue for so long, but cannot continue to persist or cannot continue due to persistent claims of fraud in the public domain over the establishment of the specialist hospital. But the national chairman of the All Progressives Congress, ABC Adams Ashamale, has been labeled as a troublemaker in a do state, and this is coming from the Deputy Governor, Mr. Philip Shaibu. Mr. Shaibu, who was addressing the ABC faithful in a go local government area of the state, said that the party is considering barring the national chairman from entry into the state, alleging that violence has trailed his recent trips to Edo. He added that the national chairman has continued to act with impunity with no regards to the rule of law, disrupting public peace. Time don't reach where we'll let her know, say, what do you teach us? We don't perfect them. And everything we're going to do now, what do you teach us? He teach us the more with the fight, who? He teach us more with the fight, who? So are we not fighting Godfather now? When I him that Godfather, when another person that Godfather, what did he tell us? He said, mock with a fight and not be teachers. Well, there's more on Edo State. 14 aggrieved lawmakers elect of the State Assembly are calling on President Muhammad Buhari to intervene in the crisis rocking the state. And that's ahead of the next governorship election due to take place later in the year. Now, addressing a news conference in Abuja, the spokesman of the group and former Speaker of the Assembly, Mr. Victor Edoro, says the state governor is determined to... According to him, destroy the fortunes of the party in the state. The group are also calling, or the group is also calling on the APC Governors Forum to intervene in order to resolve the crisis which has prevented them from being inaugurated several months after the May 2019 general elections. President Muhammad Buhari, the national leader of our Greek party, Senator Ahmed Bolatinubu, the governors of APC extractions of the APC Governors Forum, all members of APC in the National Assembly, and all party faithfuls, stroke leaders across this country, to please call Godwin Nogegase of Baseki to order, as he is known to have set several precedents in our party that may be detrimental to our great party in the interest of the future. So, there you have it. But with the increasing aggressive rhetorics between uh, the two Edo APC factions of both Governor Baseki and the National uh, Chairman of the APC Government, Adam Zushomale, Mr. Andrew Mwanta, a legal practitioner, joins us via Skype from Bini, uh, the Edo State Capital. And uh, Mr. Victor Shoke, former executive director, media to former governor Adam Zeshomale, now the APC national chairman, joins us live from our Abuja studio. Uh, good afternoon, gentlemen. Thank you for joining us on the program. So uh, let me just begin yeah, from good Mr. Good afternoon, uh, from Mr. Oshoke in Abuja. Now, what we're seeing playing out takes our minds back to 2016, pre-2016 election, when you know, then Governor Oshomale and current Governor Obaseki seemed inseparable. And, you know, there was a promise they made to the people uh, to better the lives of the people of Edo State. Four years down the line, this is playing out. And it begs the question, is this still about the people of Edo State or is this just a power play? Uh, good afternoon, listeners. It's just, I think it's gone beyond uh, the people. It's now about desperation of uh, the governor to be given a second tenure without opposition. If you can see what's happening, he started where when his tenure began. He, he campaigned on the promise of a co continuity from where Oshomole stopped. But two years down the line, he started this 
quest for a second tenure. And initially, there were people who didn't quite like the way he was governing, and they were opposed to him. And that is the point. He tries to make this fight a fight between him and Ushoboli. It is not a fight between him and Ushoboli. It's a fight between him and APC, uh, people in the no state. He is out to destroy APC. From all his actions, what he has said is that anybody who does not support his second term ambition should be crushed. That uh, is the Mr. Term Shoke, you uh, can you know, see the words in the video has gone viral. When, when you make such yeah. allegations, I'd like you to be careful making such allegations that the governor is out uh, to destroy the APC. But I'd like to add this to it because I recall also in 2016 uh, that the former governor said that, you know what, he's not afraid of the current governor, in quote, betraying him. But he gave something, uh, an instructive statement saying that he should be loyal to the people of Edo State. So from your side, from the faction of the national chairman, is this still about the people of Edo State? I want to correct an impression, not the faction of the national chairman. It is the faction opposed to his attempt to impose himself upon the party. It's not the national chairman. The national chairman, to be fair, has been, has shown restraint, has shown, has respected his office as the national chairman of the party and has decided not to go into contention with Obaseki. The fact is that Obaseki is fighting members of the party who are opposed to his second term ambition. It's right. not about the people any longer. He has stopped governance for over a year now. He is concentrated only on imposing himself for the people. And okay. what he's saying, incidentally, he is telling Oshobole to be a godfather by, by, by imposing him on the people. And Oshobole right. has only said, no, I'm not Mr. going to close the door to other Mr. people okay. aspiring a to here. a position of governorship. Let's bring in uh, Mr. Mwata to respond uh, to some of the allegations you have raised. Now, Mr. Mwata, you have listened to Mr. Shoki and some of the issues he, have, he has raised, rather. So I'd like you to respond to some of them that talks about Godfatherism and all that, especially in view of the fact that the people of Edo State should be the big, big, big picture here. Yeah, thank you. You know, it's quite unfortunate when you see members of the APC on the guise of we are under a group called EPM attack the governor. The truth is the governor has refused to share public funds. And again, when you hear Oshoke talk, this is a person that he was, a, he was appointed as a senior special assistant to the governor. He was busy doing the work of a houseboy in Abuja to the national chairman, and he was sacked. So that's his grievance. So the governor's social contract with Edo people. And again, the national chairman of the party has been creating crisis. Whenever it comes to Edo State, there's either a case of houses being burned or cars being burned. You cannot have two governors at the same time. Governor Pasek is the one that was elected. Oshomaya was suspended as national chairman because of his anti-party activities in the party. The governor went for the um, graduation of students of Edo University in the Yamo. He was attacked by members of the same group, EPN, under the watch of Adam Oshomole. So the point is, it was because of the inquiry over the Central Hospital project, that is why they have started a new scale of crisis. The 14 lawmakers were having a conference. They alleged that the governor was to send people after them. While that conference was going on, we heard that assassins went to the chambers of one of their members, uh, Idagbo. Is that not funny? Even those of Nollywood would have done better. These are just distractions. But the good thing is the governor has remained focused and is out to deliver the dividends of democracy to the people who elected him. And that is a social contract he has with the Edo people. And right. Adam Oshomale, as God's father, cannot prevent the governor from delivering the dividends of the democracy to Edo people. Uh, Mr. Nwata, just before the break, I was going to take you up on a statement made by uh, Governor Shomale, uh, rather Governor Basaki, I should say, uh, just yesterday, saying that he would show uh, the chairman of a party that he's a governor. And he went on to say that if he takes some steps that are uh, antithetical to, this, to, the, to the party in the state, he will deal with him. So the question here is, what does that mean? Yeah, thank you very much. The governor, as the chief security officer of this state, owes the duty as the chief security officer to ensure that at any given point in time, the security and welfare of adult people takes promise over political consideration. Over the weekend, Oshomale came against an order of the general of police that is one faction of the APC, as EPA, on no account to have a political rally. Because the last one we had, we had people who were injured, we had vehicles and properties burnt, 
And unfortunately, against the order of the Inspector General of Police, he went ahead with a rally, and we had a, re a reenactment. People's vehicles were burnt, there was crisis, and the governor is saying, you cannot come to this state and create problems. He oh, he seemed to be having... Chief Oyebo was national chairman. Okay. He did not disrupt the activities of the national unfortunately. So I want to say that it's because of the issue of resource control, because they want to control the treasury of those states, which, of course, is not available. They say, oh, the governor is not serving to us. They are not generators. It's generators who service. You don't service human beings. They have been given the opportunity to serve. Some of them have abdicated their duty. We have 14 lawmakers who are showing us in housing in Abuja. Doing what? Adding weight. These people were elected to represent their people, but Oshomala, because he wants to use them as attack dogs, has been housing them in Abuja against the social contract they have with the good people. But unfortunately, they are since have been declared vacant, and that's why you see them organizing press conference when they met right. in the law, you know, in the chambers making laws. All right. So, so Shomala has to blame for most places on the table, you know. Okay. The stops. Uh, Mr. Mwata, let, let's bring in Mr. Ashoke now. Uh, just to get him to respond and also find out what, what is the state of the AMPAS, especially from where you sit in the State House of Assembly. Uh, you can see, uh, we all watched the video of the governor a few days ago and the deputy governor. Ne not even during that bachelor ring did a, a public officer come out to say that he will show somebody. In fact, a bachelor was not so blunt as Obaseki was yesterday in his repression. Obaseki is repressing Edo people. Anybody who does not uh, raise the four figures up for, for a relation for him, he is out to crush the person. As, as you can see, after saying a governor coming on live television to say, I, I, I authorize attack on people who do not follow what we decide. I mean, that is instigation to violence. And what followed? A few hours later, the former attorney general of Edo State and uh, commissioner for justice, uh, Barista Harry Dagbo. Well, his office was attacked. Over, over 1,000 uh, bullets uh, expended on his house. As, as they say, people scampered for safety in the afternoon at 2, at 2, 2 p.m. yesterday. Why? Because the governor has said he authorizes people to attack those who do not support his second term agenda. Okay. I mean, it is Mr. time Obaseki is called to order. I do Just... not think this man has even read the Nigerian constitution. Because Just before how we... can you say people cannot gather because they do not support your own idea. Okay, Mr. Ashoke, just before your, we round off, party. just now, before we sorry, round off this conversation, allowed. one moment, just before we round off this conversation, I need to get your commitment here because from the trend we're seeing, people are wondering, are we preparing for an election or for war? So briefly, what exactly are we preparing for in Edo State? In 30 seconds. APC members are preparing for election. Obaseki is preparing for the war. You can imagine what you would do to PDP if you were to be given the ticket of the APC. If you cannot allow APC to meet, would it, have, would it allow opposition parties to meet in the those days? Okay. It is the time, it is time the security agencies call Obaseki to order. All right, let's, let's bring in... everybody, all attempts at reconciliation. Let's get he Mr. Nwata's uh, response and briefly. That... Let's get Mr. Nwata's response just before we round off the conversation. So that same question. What are we preparing for in a those state? Or what should we be preparing for? An election or a war? The governor of Edo State, being a focused person, is ready for the elections, but the distractions that we have been getting has always been from the suspended national chairman, because he's acting a script of the PDP, which is your main opposition party, because he has practically taken over the duties of the opposition party. That, that is why the party lost Zamfara. Just recently, Imo was regained, but of course, the judgment has been in controversy. Right. Why? Because of the crisis someone has created. So, okay. But the governor remains focused and is going you know to what? be elected first by getting the I think, I think, it, I think it's safe to say we'll hold and both of you to your word, saying that we're preparing for elections indeed in Edo State. But we'd like to thank you so much, uh, Mr. Victor Shoke, former Executive Director, Media to former Governor uh, Adam Sashomale, and Mr. Andrew Nwata, a legal practitioner. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with us this afternoon. Well, moving on, Nigeria's main opposition party, the PDP, has submitted a protest letter to the embassies of the United Kingdom and the United States of America, calling on the international communities to intervene and save Nigeria's democracy, which they say 
is under threat. Addressing journalists at the U.S. Embassy in Abuja, the national chairman of the People's Democratic Party insists that there is urgent need to seek the intervention of the international communities to help improve security and the country's judicial system. Well, according to him, the party is in full support of its Senate minority leader, who called on President Buhari to solve the problem of insecurity or resign his office. Well, that's the program for this afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget, you can always watch this on YouTube on our channel. That's Channels Television. And you can follow the conversation on social media across Twitter, Facebook, and even Instagram. I am Kaido Kikulu. Thank you so much.